Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady. I'm here with these gorgeous cardinal cards. The cardinals are just beautiful, and I will be showing you these two cards. One is a little more involved, and the other one is super quick. You can find the cardinal set in the Twal Tiding Suite, and this is on page six of Stampin' Up's current holiday catalog. The products in this suite are available through January 2nd, 2020. So you can see that they have a lot of wonderful products that work together, and I'm gonna show you a few of them. So here is the Twal Christmas Cardinal set, and it is a red rubber set, and then we have the coordinating Cardinal dies. I'll be also using a few other products in through here, and I'll talk about them as I get to them. So we have the beautiful paper that coordinates, and it has garden green on one side and real red on the other. And each of the patterns comes in both. So we have a real red side and a garden green side of each of the gorgeous patterns. And this comes in a set of 12 sheets. I have all of my paper cut for me, but the sizes you can find them on my blog at mystamplady.com. So 12, the 12 Tidings designer paper features very vanilla, so that's why I went with the very vanilla color. This is a piece of the thick very vanilla. I have cut it to five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. I'm gonna start with a little bit of stamping. So I have the garden green and I am inking up the Christmas wishes. There are two banners included with this set and we have one banner that has Christmas wishes in it. It's a little narrower and then we also have the larger banner that there are coordinating dies for both of these banners. Let's ink up this cardinal. I'm using real red. I'm actually not adding any color but I have uh, done him in black and added beak color. On my platform, I'll line up the dies over the images and then we'll run this through my die cutting machine. The die set includes these two leaf dies. There are no images that coordinate, but they work wonderfully without an image and I'm just going to cut those out. Okay, I have these die cut pieces. Now I'm going to work on that background. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock and you'll notice in my finished sample there is some embossing and the die cutting. Do the die cutting first because if you try to do the embossing first and then you're die cutting, you're going to squish out all of your die cutting. Uh, die cutting involves putting down, this is the piece of very vanilla. It's slightly smaller than a piece of real red cardstock. I'm going to line this die up three times across the bottom. There is my first die cut. Now I will rotate it and run it through twice more and I'll rotate it again and I'll be back. I now have those three die cuts out of the bottom. We're using the negative part, but before I mount that onto that real red cardstock, I'm going to place it into the Woodlands textured folder and I'm gonna run this through the Big Shot. Now I have some beautiful embossing and I have my die cut spaces for that real red to show through. Use a little bit of liquid glue and put that down and glue this down to my real red card base that is just 1 8 inch larger. So I have a 1 16 inch mat around the entire piece. And we'll set that down and let that dry. While that's drying, I have a piece of the designer paper, the 12 Tidings designer paper. I'm gonna put place that piece of paper just right above those die cuts. I have a piece of ribbon here. It has a little bit of gold edging on it and we'll tie that around and just tie a knot. I have trimmed up those tails. I'm gonna straighten that out just a little bit. I have a beautiful background for my cardinal and I can place this down right onto my card front. I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid glue so it holds nice and strong. I'm gonna finish up this card with dimensionals. I love using dimensionals to give it a little lift over that ribbon. That way I don't look like I'm trying to squeeze it down and it's bowing over it. I've removed the backings and let's just place that cardinal down. I use a little mini glue dot. Let's put that down on there and now I can just tuck those leaves right behind there. Grab another one and let's put that one behind there. Add a little interest up into this corner. And the last step for this one is to put down my sentiment. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put those dimensionals because I don't want the dimensionals to sit over the center. It'll raise it up some more and I want it to sit even. So I'm going to put just a mini dimensional on each end and then it will rest nicely over that cardinal. Now this is a stepped up card. This is a card that has a few more layers and a few more steps than the next card I'm going to show you. But the nice thing is, is you can get both of these looks from the same products. So 
oh, I'm ready to send that Christmas wishes off. So my next card is not quite as elaborate. I have the same card base that I did in the first one. And now I have a bigger piece of that designer series paper and I'm pulling in this die set. This is called the stitched rectangle stitch dies and they are wonderful for card fronts because all of these dies are sized to fit nicely on a quarter size card. So all I'm doing is I'm using this entire scene. It's just gorgeous. This is making my background. I'm gonna put my die down, run it through and cut it out. So I've cut this out and now it matches really nicely with my one eighth inch larger mat. And I'm just going to mat that onto a piece of real red cardstock. You could use the garden green. It's just completely up to you. I did just pick the real red for my background and then I chose garden green for my sentiment. So it doesn't matter, you can do either one. And this is just a matter of putting this down right onto that card front there. So now I have the garden green and this time I'm using the larger banner. So this banner has a longer sentiment and it's got the two kind of the banner layered on top of each other. And so we'll just stamp that. May your days be merry and bright. And this could also work for an inside if you'd prefer. Of course, there's the coordinating die for this one. So we'll just line that up and make sure it, it is slightly different. So make sure you have it lined up properly and die cut. You may have noticed this little piece of washi tape that I have on here. And that's just, for some reason, this die pulls on me a little more. So I just do that washi tape to hold it in place. Again, I'm going to use dimensionals. I want to pop this up, and so we'll place those on the back side. I like to place my greeting first, because then I can figure out from there where to put my little leaves that I've die cut. So I've already die cut these out. I did three this time. I did two of the large ones and one of the smaller one. And I'm going to do it just like I did on the first one. Put a mini glue dot on there, slide it underneath, and just press that down. I put the other small one down on the bottom also. So we'll just slide that underneath and press that down and then repeat with the top one. And you have a quick but beautiful card. So I have both. I have the stepped up version and the more simple version. This is to show you the versatility of the Twilight Hiding Suite. I'm so glad you joined me today. And if you would like to see some more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button.